Alright, so today we're talking about something a bit different, and a bit of a different video to be honest, since 99% of my channel at the moment is Bed Wars, and today's sort of a commentary video, which is not going to be a normal thing around here. But once again, our favourite content creator, Rust Academy, ended up doing something interesting in one of his videos, which we're going to be checking out real quick. Now before we get into that, if you do want to drop a like and a sub, it does really help out the channel a lot, especially a like really does promote the channel more than you expect and also at the end of this video be sure to go check out zprots because he's actually the reason i'm making this video i saw his video on this i've sort of got a different outlook on the whole situation that i'm going to be talking about but go check him out because he's the reason i'm making this video but let's watch rest academy's banging raid video obviously it's going to be high quality all right guys well i was trying to stick with only armored bases for this video kind of like a theme but i found this sheet metal thing look at this freaking base it's like a zigzag of one foundation one wall base i assume the loot's going to be on the opposite side of where this door is at sheet metal door i mean to be honest with you mate i'd assume you knew where the loot was since you legit have build proof unless you forgot how you built the base about 20 seconds ago before recording this video then you know where the loot is, let's be honest. Okay, it's sealed off there. Um, maybe not the best idea. All right, I'm genuinely trying to decide if either he had a voice crack there or he's finding this way too funny to record because he knows he's about to mess with loads of people's mind, making them think he's actually doing a legit raid. Like, listen to the way he says idea. Maybe not the best idea. Maybe it's not the best idea. <laughs> well, that's legit what he sounded like. He sounded like he was laughing. But maybe that's just me looking into this too deep and wasting so much of my day just constantly analysing stuff that makes no sense and there's no reason behind analysing it. Moving on. It's still off again, bro. That's a TC, though. Okay, and there's just sulfur ore in there, 32k sulfur. So yeah, somehow magically he finds the TC, wonder how he found that. I mean, I find the funny part is the only time he doesn't have build proof is after he's destroyed his own TC and already done the entire raid. I mean, I'm just going to ignore the fact that obviously he built the base. Like obviously at this point, 99% of the rest community know he's not a legit raider. Well, actually probably a bit lower than that since there's loads of new people joining the scene recently. Which is probably what his content's catered towards, I guess. Because I don't think people that actually play the game a lot can actually get excited about him getting 33k sulfur out of a TC on like a 20 times server. It's not really that enjoyable to watch, obviously. Now, the main reason I'm sort of making this video is because I feel like we give Rust Academy not enough credit for what he actually does. And hear me out, that sounds like I'm bigging him up and all his content's great, but that's not what I'm thinking about. I've started to notice that Rust Academy makes loads and loads of videos, loads and loads of raid videos, and then he'll slip up once, he'll have loads of talk around his name, like now, basically. Loads of people will be making videos exactly like this one, exposing him in quotation marks, even though he blatantly obviously fakes raids and stuff like that. His audience will build back up, people go to his channel to see what he's all about, start watching his videos, and then he'll do raids without messing up in them for a long time, and then he'll mess up again. Like I'm starting to think that he actually messes up on purpose because that way he gets loads of talk and hype around his name again and he rebuilds viewers. That's just my thought process. I think he might actually be really smart in doing that, but who knows. Like the main reason I think that is because obviously all his content's on super modded servers. So if he really wanted to, he could literally go out, hit what, 10 sulfur nodes or go to launch like once and he's got enough for an entire raid. Like he really doesn't need to fake his videos with the server he's playing on. Spend like literally 30 to 40 minutes of his day getting explosives for enough for what content for a whole two weeks, three weeks or something like that. Like let's be honest, you can get stuff super fast. He sort of reminds me of, you know, those Twitch streamers that play really dumb. So people clip them all the time and expose them on Reddit. Well, not expose, but laugh at them on Reddit. And then they get more viewers and attention to their name. And they just play dumb. And then after, like, they blow up, they suddenly become somewhat smarter than they were before. Like, quite a lot smarter. Because Rust Academy literally, what, gets like 100k views a video at the moment. Some of his videos do a lot better than that, but that's about the average I see most of the time. He has like five modded servers that where you pay VIP and stuff for, bringing in loads of money from that. So basically it's money from AdSense servers, and I don't know if he does sponsored cards at the beginning of his video. I'm not sure about that, to be honest. Okay, I actually just double-checked the start of this video that he, well, we're reacting to, sort of, and he promoted something called Clan Calls. Don't know if that's to do with his servers, since he did save Rust Academy at the bottom of it. So it might just be his own thing, and he just promotes his own servers all the time. 
that's probably what he does. But yeah, to be honest, I'm just going to end it there. I feel like I'm going to end it waffling. Sort of my opinion is Rush Academy is smarter than we all expect. And he's secretly laughing in his room, making loads of money off of us. And no one even knows about it. But anyway, if you want to subscribe to this channel, I'm not going to be doing content like this a lot. I'm going to be doing survival and obviously loads of bed wars, since that's what I enjoy. But I'm probably going to hop into a wipe literally after uploading this video. And hopefully I can get some content for you guys. But anyway guys, see you in the next one. Peace out.